Hey everyone, welcome back to the episode of the Mojave Setup. Uh, so in this episode right here, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Ruby and Rails. And uh, you know, some of the caveats that you know you have to be careful about when using ASDF to set up your, um, your Ruby and Rails environment. So what I'm going to do here is I want to install the Ruby uh, plugin for ASDF. So uh, we can do ASDF. And you know we can see you know I already showed you guys a list of plugins that we have um, in the previous episode. So we can use this ASDF plugin list all, and I'll show you uh, the list of plugins. So if I want to add a plugin, uh, we can just do ASDF plugin add Ruby, and basically this is going to install the Ruby plugin. This is not going to install Ruby. This is going to install the Ruby plugin, and now we can install uh, Ruby. So uh, I can show you guys as well. So ASDF list all Ruby. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to download um, the list of the Ruby versions that are available uh, and show us you know, what, kind of, what versions we have to install uh, well, that are available to us. So I'm going to install the latest one, uh, which is, I believe is 2.5.1, last I checked. So you can see here you know, tons of uh, versions that we can pick from. Um, and basically, uh, underneath this is using uh, Ruby build. Uh, so what we're going to do is now, uh, so right there, 2.5.1 is the latest stable version. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just install that. So um, ASDF install Ruby and 2.5.1. And basically, now this is going to download and set up Ruby 2.5.1 for us on our system. All right, so that's going to take a bit of time because it's actually um, you know, building and compiling Ruby right here on our system. All right, so Ruby is now installed. Let's proceed. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to try out actually you know, ASDF. Um, so actually, if I type Ruby now, you're going to see it's actually not, it's not picking up our version yet. So what we need to do is um, ASDF uh, reshim Ruby. 2.5.1 Ruby hyphen V. So, um, and then now we got to do uh, ASDF global Ruby 2.5.1 Ruby hyphen V. So, if I open a new tab, we should now be on um, Ruby 2.5.1. So, as you can see there, uh, we are using Ruby 2.5.1. Two point five point one. So let me open up a new tab just to be sure. Um, all right. Uh, so here we are. Uh, if now, uh, what I can do is I can do um, gem install bundler. So this is now going to install bundler in our uh, Ruby gem. So gem which gem. Um, so one note is that we need to add the shims to the path. Um, otherwise, it's not going to pick up. So for example, if I type in bundle, um, actually, I think that worked. OK, so I just want to make sure. Um, you know, One thing we need to do is add the shims to the path. So I'm going to copy this path over here. So if you type which gem, you'll see uh, you, user local opt uh, ASDF shims. We want to copy that into our um, uh, you know, in, into our uh, z path in ZSHRC profile. So VI, and I'm going to go all the way down. And then basically here, I'm going to do export path equals, and then path. So something like that is going to work. So now if I do uh, source ZSHRC, and I can do echo path. And now we can see that you know, the shims is already here. Um, the shims do need to be there. So you know, even though the bin and all that stuff is there, but shims are, you know, when you install Ruby gems, um, you know, if you don't have the shims in the path, um, it's not going to you know, pick up in the command line. So you have to type in the path, which is kind of like an inconvenience. All right, so now we have um, you know, bundler install. We can install gem install. Rails, and then I'm going to show you guys how to actually generate a new project as well. 
All right, so there it is. Uh, Rails is now installed, and we can now actually generate a project using Rails. So Rails new, um, and then example. All right, so Rails new, example. So I had to you know, open up a new uh, tab so that it reruns the ASDFSH and reinitializes everything. And now I can call Rails new. So now uh, it's generating the Rails project. Um, and then basically, you know, we can now, you know, run Rails projects off of this. So I will actually boot up um, a, the Rails app as well, just to show you guys that everything is working. All right, so there it is. So I'm, I can now go into uh, example, and I'm, I can actually now run Rails S. It'll boot up the application. I can go into my browser. And bam, there we go. Uh, Rails is now working uh, with Ruby 2.5.1. So uh, another thing we're gonna need to install is Node.js. So I'm gonna split that into a different video because this video is getting long. Um, so if you uh, haven't checked out our other videos, uh, it actually shows you how to set up your dev, dev environment using Mac OS um, all the way from zero, like having a fresh install of Mac OS. How do you actually set it up? What do you set up first? And then you know, what do you go, where do you go from there? Uh, so in this episode right here, we covered Ruby and Rails. Um, we generate a project um, that we can now boot up. And as you can see, everything is working great. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is install Node.js using ASDF. Uh, and then uh, Elixir is going to be uh, the episode after that. Um, and so, yeah, uh, this is a free video on YouTube. And uh, if you're check checking this video out, uh, check out our website. Uh, we have more content on our site. And you will see, you know, everything that I typed into here is going to be typed out in our um, description area on our site as well, uh, with syntax highlighting. And, and that's a reason why we can't include it in the YouTube description is because, you know, YouTube description doesn't have syntax highlighting, but our site does. Does so uh, to get the full experience, check out our site and also become a member to support us. Um, and so, yeah, with that, I want to wrap up this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.